we are heading down to the garden here to pick everything it takes to make salsa. You have your, you have your weight, baseball glove. All right, what are we going to do today? What are we gonna pick in the garden? Tomatoes, maybe some zucchini, some tomatoes, maybe a few onions. Everything we need for salsa, right? Yes. So it is kind of a nice, cool morning. Sunny, Ooh, sunny, chips? sunny, but cool. Mom, did you get some tortilla chips? I did get tortilla chips, yes. In some of my last videos, you guys have all said things like, I love how real you are. Oh my gosh, this is, I love your channel because you're just so real. I'm gonna give you the full gamut of realness today. Um, this is just called grab the ponytail holder off my dresser and put it up. I have not brushed my teeth. I'm a, I have I'm coffee a, breath. A glove. Look at that beautiful tomato. Yes. And I'm gonna give you a peek at my garden. It really my got away from glove. us. Maria is basically my up to teeth. her shoulders in weeds. We can still find everything though. That's a good thing. All right, so guys, we're just gonna walk down these um, rows as best we can, finding tomatoes. Some of the tomatoes look a little split. We just got a ton of rain, like three, well, not a ton, a ton, but we got like 3.3. Yes, that's fine. We'll just cut that little bit off. I think we got about 3.3 or maybe even more inches of rain over the last three days. And so I should have gotten out here earlier, but since we were at the fair and just doing stuff with that, I didn't get out here to get these picked. So it looks like some of them are gonna be split from just too much water. Find any jalapenos? I got two more, they're little, but I got them. And I think that's it. The green leaves are like an insect. Ooh. <laughs> I've never grown cabbages before, and this year two of the four plants actually did something. I have no idea if this is what cabbage is supposed to look like, all rotten leaves and everything on the outside. I really don't know. And this, yeah, pull that one. And Peter's gonna pull this next one. Get it, Peter. Let's see, what do we got there? This one is smaller. It's yeah. got a little bit of like moldish looking leaves. Well, if, but you peel, if you peel salad. these back leaves off. Yeah, I think if we just peel beautiful. it back, it's beautiful Mom, underneath. Mom, this would be good for salad, homemade salad. Okay, now we we're picking onions. Yes, Peter. and we're gonna try to find not the red ones, bud. We're gonna try to find the white onions, which I think are a little further down. White. Oh, oh, good, 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 good. Oh, we got one right here. Looking we're good. We're finding them through the weeds. These are some good onions this year. Maybe that's the key is to not weed. <laughs> I, I don't know. A giant. Now this one looks like it's going to be small. Yeah, that one's tiny. See, now that's, that's the usual yeah, size we get. Yeah, But these are like mega onions for us. Look at this one. But, yeah, huge. We got a little um, overzealous here in picking and pulling. I thought we were just gonna come down here to do salsa um, makings, but you know, I, I just can't stop myself. And I saw all these green beans, so we all started picking those, oh, right, Joe? A big, big, beautiful kind of bean. Okay, yeah, and I just cannot stop myself from picking and pulling. So we have tomatoes, and this is what's been happening to our cucumbers this year. I did not plant this variety so i don't know if it was the wrong seeds or if something else is going on but anyways i just have these little round balls which sometimes i think they've been called something like lemon cucumbers but anyways they're and they don't really even have much flavor either so that's kind of been a disappointment this year because i actually have dill everywhere in the garden we laid out a whole bunch of onions here just to kind of dry in the sun peppers we ended up with some beautiful peppers this year that was exciting we got some little ones too
Wait for instruction. Okay. No, I need you to turn it off, Peter. Thank you. Wait for instruction. To say that the kids are not as excited about this as I am is kind of an understatement. I guess except Peter, he came running over here and Sam's chasing down Joseph right now. All right, let's see if you boys can get along while you do this, okay? No, Peter, just hold them in here. Just bring in bowls as you have them ready because I'm gonna be ready to do tomatoes in probably 15 minutes, okay guys? Okay. Work hard at getting along. Work hard at getting along. Everybody smile at me. Work hard at getting along. Peter and Sam already arguing over there trying to figure out who's gonna spray, who's gonna carry the tomatoes, all that kind of thing. Anyways, I'm just gonna come in the house and hope that they can work it out. So we are all finished up with lunch and it is about 1.15 here right now. We got all that stuff cleaned up. We're finally actually starting in on the canning before I just cleaned up the kitchen and the kids did a bunch of washing of all the vegetables and then I decided to make BLTs for lunch. So, you know, making bacon takes a little bit of time. And now I have the kids who are home. Let's see, there they are through the kitchen window, um, just snipping beans. I have Peter on my bad side because he wants so badly to be chopping tomatoes, but I said I really need to be in charge of that so that I can make sure that I get like off any yucky parts. You know, tomatoes like this he could do, but I really like to make sure I can get off the yucky parts. So he's kind of mad at me right now because I won't let him do that. There's the beginnings of salsa. I have a great big pot. This we lovingly refer to as the corn kettle. This is just a great big kettle, I think, way back from World War II, I want to say. All right, so we are back in the house. Put your boots down. You need to go take a time out now. When I call you, you need to answer me the first time. Do you understand that? I don't think he's going to answer me. I just had to get the bike out because no one had seen Joseph in about 15 minutes. And so um, he has a habit of not wanting to answer when we're calling for him. So I finally found him. He was in the Marrowood just biking away. So I sent him back on a timeout for not answering me because what he's supposed to say when I say, Joseph, he's supposed to say, what mom? He knows how to say it and he will say it, but he'll say it really quiet. What mom? What mom? So I'm trying to train him to holler it as loud as he possibly can. You hit high. Okay, that's good. Uh, hit it just a little bit more. Uh-huh. Again. All right, that's good. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> trying to get this off. You're trying to get that off, that bone. Where'd you get this big bone? Amber said I can feed it to Eskimo. Oh, and you need help? Did you try using scissors? I was just going to do that. I think that would work out well to use scissors. Do you poke yourself? No. I hit myself. Oh. I've got Amber here helping out. She's thrilled. Right? Yeah. <laughs> She's thrilled. She's packing in the green beans, doing the cold pack. We're still working on the salsa. I just grind everything up in my food processor. It maybe doesn't look the prettiest as far as even chunks, but it works. And so, I measured out the tomatoes. We actually have 27 cups. So that is a times three of my salsa recipe. Here's her puppy that she spent her birthday money on at the fair. Very sweet. Let her go so everyone can see her go. She's going backwards. Looks like Sam's coming in with onions.
let them fall and then do it some more. All right, so sometimes I say in the kids here something completely different. I had asked Amber to put two quarts of water into that, which is the pressure canner. And she actually put two quarts of water into there. <laughs> Smile for us. <laughs> she put two quarts of water into the salsa, which means we're going to have to cook that for like, I don't know, three extra hours to um, try to evaporate away that water. Um, but yeah, it's still going to work out. I'm a little mad, but I'm over it. <laughs> we're just waiting on that one to soak. And... Right, we're getting going on the beans. I think she's done everything right. Her and Sam together have been tag teaming back and forth with the green beans. So hopefully they've done everything correctly there. Yeah. Joe's been wearing Amber's old uh, cowboy boots and they actually have a pink yeah, yes. ankle shaft and so I won't let him wear them to town. Anyways, last night at Walmart I picked him up a pair of just cheap boots. How do they fit? Does it seem like something he can do by himself? I think so. Let him see if he can put them on by himself. Because he's got to be able to do it alone. If you need to, we might have to get a bigger size. And then again. Those ones will Try be again, for bud. Me? No, they won't be for you, Peter. I'm going to return them and exchange, or I would actually exchange them for a bigger size. Can you stand up and try it? What's going on with this one? Is there something oh. in it? Yes, oh, there is. Go. Oh, no wonder. That's why. Oh, that's what is so it? I don't know. <laughs> all right, now put this on. It's okay. the thing that keeps it up. You know, and make it look all fancy. Come here, pop there. There, there you no, no. go. Don't pop it. Don't pop it. Let me see it. Sure. They look like they fit. Can I pop it? Do they fit, buddy? Ah. All right, everybody, let's stay focused here. It? We got to keep going. Why? I'm going to turn the salsa on. Not real high because yeah, tomatoes can scorch. Yeah, so finger tight, right? Yep. Excellent. We still need to get two quarts of water into the pressure canner. And they want to do that. Go put two. Put two quarts of water into the pressure canner. I've lost the little kids over there in that toy-filled living room to toddler tunes. Now we have moved on. We have the um, salsa is hopefully going to be simmering away shortly. We've got the green beans in here. We're waiting for this to start steaming. And now we're going to be working on zucchini. So rather than shred this and freeze it, I just thought, why don't we just shred it and make the muffins right away? Because that's what everybody likes are the zucchini chocolate chip muffins. I know I've showed these on my vlog before. Sam is... Working at multiplying out everything by six, because we're going to times this recipe by six today. Amber's doing the wet ingredients over here, and whoo, look at that one-handed yeah, egg like crack. Nice going. Wow. And I'm working at um, getting the seeds out of the zucchini, and then I'm going to shred those up. After shredding up all our zucchini, I realized that we had so much we had to make not times six, but times nine. And Sam got all the dry ingredients, and now oh, Joe is making? just stirring up. We are gonna make like a hundred zucchini chocolate chip muffins, Peter. Yeah! <laughs> you're happy, aren't you? Why do we need? To... All right, you're out of here. You're done. You might be. You might have to come back later, but you're done for now. Keep stirring. So things are coming along nicely here in the kitchen. That I think is three batches of 24 muffins. We have another one in the oven and it looks like we're gonna be able to make at least another batch of 12. The salsa too is coming along quite nicely. You can see the level of where it was. We're just still simmering in a way, trying to get it, um, you know, try to get rid of some of that water. We had, Another little snafu, I had gone for a short little walk, just like 15 minute walk while one of the batches of muffins was in the oven and Sam was gonna be watching it and I come in and he gives me this deer in the headlights look and he's like, I just dropped the spoon in the salsa. I'm like, ah, it had a rubber handle, so, but we got that out quick. Nothing melted into the salsa or anything like that. Now we just have more dirty dishes. The beans, 
I was just testing them a second ago. Everything looks good there, so I'm gonna take the beans out. It's five to five, and something else that I really like to do, and I'm not great at it, but I like to try to get the kids to clean up their mess before Warren comes in. It's just one thing that really makes him um, a very happy man in the evening. And so I'm looking here right now. Let's see what's happening, guys. Peter and Maria, what did I tell you before? What did I tell you? You forgot already? I said it's time to pick up pick up the Duplos. Oh, but I didn't never know. Really? But I didn't know there were Legos too. So I'm gonna put Maria. Look at me, Maria. You're in charge of all the Duplos. Peter, you're in charge of all the Legos. I'm gonna set the timer for ten minutes. You can put it right on top of Peter's bin of Legos, and when everything is picked up, you can grab those and play with them, yes. So as I was saying, I'm not perfect at this by any means, but I do try to get the kids to pick things up, especially if they're around the house, um, and I see it's getting close to the time that Warren's going to be coming in. Wow, Maria! Don't put away angry, holy cow! It's already time to move on to supper. We're going to make egg sandwiches, so I'm going to actually take... Um, an onion here. I'm going to put the onions right onto the eggs. Of course not all of them because not everybody's going to want one like that. We're going to serve these on toasted English muffins with cheese. Um, some of us are just going to have it the egg with the onion, probably top it with tomato and then also cheese. We'll probably throw some muffins on the table too. I've got blueberries. I have a lot more than this but I just put out a small bowl. And I've got some of these little quick microwavable sausages. have the salsa um, in quart jars which honestly I don't think it's recommended to do it in quart jars um, but I like to just because when we open a jar of salsa we eat a lot of it this is a hot water bath canner and the difference you guys might remember the um, the pressure canner you just put a couple quarts of water in the bottom and then you seal the lid super tight and then what happens is it builds up pressure um, steam pressure and that's what actually pressure canning in a boiling water canner here or sometimes it's also called a hot water bath it's only about an inch over top of the lids of the jars and keep a cover on it bring it to just a very soft rolling boil and then it has to boil for quite a long time I'm gonna have to look up to see how long the salsa has to go and now to <laughs> finish off the evening we are having a campfire here and it's actually cold enough that just about everybody has been popping back in to get jackets sweatshirts yes camo, camo a nice blanket did sam just crash into something probably he just gave me a thumbs up so that means he crashed into something <laughs> she didn't say anything when she flashed into the camera <laughs> What am I supposed to say? Well, you're like, oh, there's everyone in blankets, there's Maria, and then you're like, <laughs> no words for that. <laughs> That's right, there are no words for that. A little diva of a dog, she's picky about anything she eats. Say, say, no. What was the best part of my day? Yeah. Uh, buying the iPhone. <laughs> How about you, Peter? What was the best part of your day? How about you, Warren? What was the best part of your day? Uh, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches for lunch, and uh, egg sandwiches for supper. And I would say the best part of my day was probably getting all of the vegetables put up. All the zucchini, all yeah, the exactly. green beans. Nine batches of muffins made. There was two whole zucchinis left, and she's like, oh, we forgot those. I'm like, Mom, we already have nine batches of muffins. We don't need more. It was kind of insane. What was the best part of your day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There really wasn't anything good. I had to do canning. So. Well, you got a rough life then. What about dirt biking? <laughs> That was, that was fun. You could be glad that the canning's done for you. Hey, 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 me, me, me. Yeah, me, that's good. Five. Yeah. I don't know. I 
Goodbye, and thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. And any of these recipes, well, I guess it would really just be the recipe for the um, zucchini chocolate chip muffins that is on the blog, and I'll just put a link in the description box below for that, and we will see you again next time.